Now, let's speak to the CEO of Intercape, Johan Ferreira, this hour for more on this. Johan, good afternoon. Welcome to today. I mean, the numbers are telling a very stark reality of a lack of action by the police to apprehend suspects who've been involved or linked to attacks against your buses. Yeah, then the numbers does not lie. Uh, it now stands at 167 already. Um, and uh, as, um, as early as the Easter weekend, uh, we had a number of attacks uh, on the Intercay buses, specifically in the Eastern Cape at the Idocha uh, area. Now you've taken this decision that you're going to sue the Minister of Police. Yeah, look, we, we don't have a choice here. You know, we can't sit back, we can't sit idle and see that uh, our coaches and our drivers and passengers, the pub traveling public of South Africa, are being attacked uh, night after night and day after day. These, uh, these attacks ranges from assaults uh, to stoning to, um, you know, shootings. Um, and, you know, it just doesn't stop. And uh, we've been asking for help, we've been threatening, um, we've been directed. And in the end of the day, if the courts cannot help us, then, you know, we must accept that we are living in a failed state or in a failed province. Do you think there's a mafia in the province of the Eastern Cape that's operating against Intercape? Look, the taxi industry, as far as I'm concerned, is a mafia operation in itself. So the Eastern Cape has just decided to erode uh, national carriers from this specific area. And um, when we stopped operating in the, in the no-go zones, as, as they would say, the taxi operators went out and they bought buses and they're now transporting the passengers. So it was a calculated move. You know, you drive out your competition with fear and violence and then you take over and then you, you know, you do the job yourself. So this is absolutely mafia style terrorism at its best. And, and you've, you've knocked on the doors of the police, you've opened cases, but it's all been in vain. Now you are suing the police minister and others. What relief are you seeking? through this legal action? Well, with the relief that we are seeking is for the police to do the job in, in terms of uh, they have to make arrests. They have to do uh, the prosecution. They have to do... We want to see the people that, that murders our passengers and murders um, our... Uh, we want to see them... Yeah, Johanna, are you still there? We seem to be losing your connection. Are you still there? Okay. Unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Are you there, Johanna? Are you back? Yeah, it's load shedding. We've just uh, come onto the generator here. Sorry. No problem. So Kent, continue to tell us about the relief that you are seeking. Maybe you could start from the beginning. Yeah, simply the relief that we are seeking is we are asking the court to compel the Minister of Police to do the investigations, do it thoroughly, and to send it through to the prosecuting agency so that they can prosecute and that they can put these criminals behind bars. You know, we, we cannot have this criminality as a daily occurrence in, in, in South Africa. You know, Intercape not only carries intercity passengers, it also carries scholars, it carries international tourists. And um, we've warned Becky Chele last year already, we're going to come for him. And if we're not going to get relief in this way, we will go for the president, we will go for the government. But, you know, we're not going to stop until we have safe passage in South Africa. It is a constitutional right to do business in South Africa. And very briefly, current, is it only in the Eastern Cape where Intercape is being attacked? Are you operating peacefully elsewhere? It's just the Eastern Cape. It's specifically in the Idicha, Chomo, uh, Butterworth area, uh, Queenstown as well. We've had attacks in Craddock, but it's predominantly at this point in time, it is focused in the Eastern Cape, yeah. 
Okay, we'll have to wait and see then what's going to come out of this legal action that you've taken. That's Johan Ferreira, the CEO of Intercape, who have decided now to sue police minister and others after three years of raising cases. He says now the latest number of criminal cases that they have opened is 167. And not a single suspect has been arrested since 2020 when Intercape buses started coming under attack in the Eastern Cape.